Hi everyone, this is Leo and Mish from Po Academy. We help people excel in their communication skills and life skills. Welcome to Learn English Through Story. Here you will learn how to speak English easily, quickly and confidently through listening and reading. Before we begin, please press that subscribe button and hit that bell icon too and share your comments below. Let's start with our story. Half that dreamed. Credits written by Mish, narrated by Mish and Leo. Once there lived three cows on a farm. The mummy cow called Rosa, the daddy cow called Bull, and baby cow called Bonnie. Rosa and Bull would work the whole day in the fields. By the end of the day, Rosa and Bull were tired and exhausted of their daily routines. But Bonnie would just sit in the fields and daydream. Bonnie had a lot of friends, the monkeys, the birds, and a squirrel. Bonnie, along with his friends, would just sit and talk about their dreams and their future. They would share and eat the food that each one brought for lunch. But one evening, while the three cows were on the way back home, Bonnie asks his mom, Why is it that the monkey can climb and jump on trees, but I cannot? His mom replied, All five fingers are not the same. Hence, God has made all of us different. Bonnie quickly retorted, But mom, we do not have fingers. We have hooves and all of them look the same. Rosa was surprised at Bonnie's smart answer. She told Bonnie that she was tired and would explain it some other time. The next day, on their return, Bonnie asked his mom, How is it that the birds can fly but I cannot? Rosa patiently replied, They have feathers designed for them to fly. While, even though we can't fly, we have a thick skin to protect us from the heat cold and rain. The birds fly away to find a warmer region every season. Bonnie was happy knowing that he was special. Another evening on their return, Bonnie asked his mom, Why is it that only humans can drive cars and not us? Rosa softly replied, Because they have two legs and two hands. They use their hands to steer the car and their feet to press the brake and accelerate. But mom, I too would like to drive a car one day, Bonnie said. And Rosa smiled and replied, you will never be able to drive a car, Bonnie, but it's not bad for you to keep dreaming. Bonnie looked sad. To make him happy, Rosa said, Maybe, one day, you may be able to drive a car and save someone from an accident. Bonnie was delighted on hearing this and continued to dream about driving a car to the moon and touching the stars and the other planets. One Sunday morning, the three cows noticed there was a commotion near the farmer's house. Bull went on tiptoes to the front door to see why the people were laughing and screaming. He then came to Rosa and said, I think something has gone wrong. 
Rosa smiled and said, You dumb bull, we are having a party because it is the farmer's birthday today. Then both Rosa and Bull noticed that Bonnie was missing from the shed. They started walking around in search for Bonnie. Just then, they heard screams of laughter from the other corner of the field and saw Bonnie playing with a few kids near the Gulmohor tree. Rosa and Bull smiled at each other and then they went about their business. The guests began to gather under the Gulmohar tree and began to sing a birthday song. The cake was all lit with candles. The kids were running towards the tree. Suddenly, they heard screeching sounds of a car and everyone ran towards the sound. They could see a little girl was driving the car while Bonnie was running next to it. Bonnie was trying to open the car door to pull the little girl out and save her. Finally, Bonnie pressed hard on the car door with his hooves and the door swung open. Bonnie pushed the girl to the passenger seat and pressed the brakes. The car came to a screeching halt and both of them were saved from falling off the cliff. Everyone present there was so happy with Bonnie for saving the life of the little girl. Bonnie's parents were thrilled to see their baby's dream come true of driving the car. Question and answers How many cows lived on the farm? Three cows lived on the farm. How many cows lived on the farm? Three cows lived on the farm. Question and answers How many cows lived on the farm? Three cows lived on the farm. How many cows lived on the farm? Three cows lived on the farm. What were the names of the cows? The mummy cow was called Rosa, the daddy cow was called Bull, and the baby cow was called Bonnie. What were the names of the cows? The mummy cow was called Rosa, the daddy cow was called Bull, and the baby cow was called Bonnie. What did Bonnie do all day? Bonnie would just sit in the fields and daydream. What did Bonnie do all day? Bonnie would just sit in the fields and daydream. What did Bonnie dream about? Bonnie's dream was to drive a car. What did Bonnie dream about? Bonnie's dream was to drive a car. How did Bonnie save the little girl? Bonnie jumped into the car and pressed hard on the brakes. This stopped the car and they both were saved. How did Bonnie save the little girl? Bonnie jumped into the car and pressed hard on the brakes. This stopped the car and they both were saved. Were Bonnie's parents happy? Yes, Bonnie's parents were thrilled to see their baby's dream of driving the car come true. Were Bonnie's parents happy? Yes, Bonnie's parents were thrilled to see their baby's dream of driving the car come true. Thank you for watching and listening. Learn English through story. We will be back with more content to build your communication skills. Share your comments and suggestions and let us know how we can improve. Have a wonderful time, stay safe and see you soon.